Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on the 12 pairs of cranial nerves. If you guys are interested, let's get into the nitty gritty. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to go over the names of each of the 12 cranial nerves. Then I'm going to go over its nerve class, the function of the nerve and how to test for it. And then at the end, I'm going to go over a mnemonic to help you remember the order in which the nerves are and also a mnemonic for the nerve uh, class. All right, cranial nerve number one. It's the olfactory nerve. It is a sensory nerve that is used to detect smell. What you can do to test for this is put something that has a nice odor or like, you know, coffee beans or peppermint oil in front of a patient's nose and see if they can smell it. Second cranial nerve is the optic nerve. It is a sensory nerve to detect vision. In order to test for this, you're gonna wanna have the visual acuity chart, the one with the big E, and then have a patient just read a line on the chart. All right, the third cranial nerve is the ocular motor nerve. It is a motor nerve. The function of the ocular motor nerve is to, it controls the eye, mu most of the eye muscles that um, control eye movement. It also controls the constriction of the pupil and focusing of the lens in the eye. To test for this, you wanna try to do, um, have the patient blink, and then also you can use a pen light and uh, check for Perla. Perla is pupils equal reactive round to light and accommodation. You want to make sure that they're the same on both eyes. And then you can also use the your finger and have them follow it and do the six cardinal gazes. I want to mention though that when you're testing for the six cardinal gazes, you're not only testing uh, cranial nerve number three, but you're testing cranial nerve number four and number six. I'm going to go into that in a second, but it just covers all of them. You don't have to do specifically cranial nerve number three, you can just cover four and six as well while you're doing that. Cranial nerve number four is the trochlear nerve. It is a motor nerve. It controls the muscle in the superior oblique muscle of the eye. So what you wanna do is have the patient look down. Okay, the fifth cranial nerve is the trigeminal nerve. It is both sensory and motor. The function of this nerve, it controls the muscles for chewing. And then it also detects facial sensation. So what you wanna to do to test for this is have the patient clench down on their jaw. And then what you wanna do is touch the patient's jaw, cheek and forehead and see if they can sense that. All right, the sixth cranial nerve is the abducens nerve. It's a motor nerve that controls the lateral rectus muscle of the eye. So you wanna have the patient move their eyes from side to side. All right, the seventh cranial nerve is a facial nerve. It's both motor and sensory. It detects taste as well as allows the face to have expressions. For this, you wanna test with uh, having the patient lift their eyebrows, puff out their cheeks, and smile, and then you wanna just look for symmetry. All right, the eighth cranial nerve is the vestibular cochlear nerve. It is a sensory nerve. It senses balance and sound. To test for this, you wanna have a patient close their eyes and stand on one leg and then see if they can balance. And then also you, to test for the hearing, you wanna have them you know, just close their eyes and snap their fingers and, and ask them if they can hear that. Okay, the ninth cranial nerve is the glossopharyngeal nerve. It is both sensory and motor. Sensory that it detects uh, tongue sensation and then motor because it controls the muscles for swallowing. To test for this, you wanna have a patient swallow. Okay, the 10th cranial nerve is the vagus nerve. It's both sensory and motor. Sensory because it detects um, thoracic and abdominal organ sensation and motor because it controls thoracic and abdominal movements. For this, uh, you can check a gag reflex, um, but more so just check a patient's pulse while they're bearing down. Okay, the 11th cranial nerve is the accessory nerve. It is a motor nerve. It controls the trapezius and sternocleidomastoid muscles. So for this, you wanna have the patient shrug their shoulders and turn their head from side to side. And last but not least, the 12th cranial nerve is a hypoglossal nerve. It is a motor nerve. It controls tongue movements. To test for this, you wanna have a patient just stick out their tongue and speak like, ah, you know, with a tongue bleed. Okay, so the mnemonic to remember the names of the nerves is kind of vulgar and I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't even record it on camera, but it helped me in nursing school, so I hope it helps you. So here it goes. So it's gonna be O O O to touch and feel virgin girl's vagina and hymen. There it is. All right, moving on to the nerve class mnemonic. That one is gonna be also not the most PG, but it'll help you, I promise. So that one is 
Some say marry money, but my brother says big boobs matter most. <laughs> I mean, whatever, it works. I'm gonna put um, the chart and the, at the end of this video so you can take a screenshot of it. Of, it's just a breakdown of the nerves, the nerve classes, the function, and how to test for it. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd be more than happy to do more educational videos. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for me. As always, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!